question is what is the input bias current you know in case of an ideal op amplifier is input impedance is infinity that it, it that is if the input impedance is infinity it never throw any current through its input terminal but in case of the real op amplifier or practically input terminal input terminals to conduct t to small value of current small value of dc current to bias the input transistors an op amplification minus is in watching terminal plus is non inverting ib minus and ip plus input bias current to the two terminals we notice an output voltage even both the transistor with which the op amplifier is made up of are exactly identical but even then ib minus and ip plus they are not exactly the same due to internal imbalance imbalances between the two inputs so that's why ib minus and ip plus they are slightly different so we define the average value of the bias current that it is ib so ib is equals to ib plus plus ib minus divided by 2 this is the average value. If the transistor is made up of bipolar transistor, then the bias current is approximately equals to up to 500 nanoampere. If it is made up of FET, then the bias current is 50 picoampere. For FET, the bias current is quite less. So let the voltage by ohm's law across RF is by ohm's law IB minus into RF. Let RF is 1 microm and IB minus is 500 nanoampere. Then output voltage becomes by ohm's law 500 millivolt. Okay. The question is now how we make the output voltage equals to zero that is offset compensation. The circuit is for inverting hop amplifier because input voltage no doubt it is zero but it is shown at the minus terminal VI which is zero shown at the negative terminal. So there's a circuit for inverting op amplifier. For offset compensation, RC register is connected at the non-inverting terminal for compensation. Pitch of current law is written at this node. There are the three currents. I1 is towards the node, I2 is towards the node, and IB minus is 
going away from this note. We one is the voltages. By Ohm's law, it is uh, current into resistance IB plus into RC. Voltage at these two points will be same by the ideal characteristics of the op amplifier. Here the voltage is equal to Vi which is equal to 0. Current I1 is written by Ohm's law across R1. I2 is the current and it is written across RF by Ohm's law I2 equals to you know V1 minus V0 divided by RF and for compensation V0 should be put equals to 0. Substituting the values of R1 and I2 here. S, IB minus and IB plus are approximately same. So in this expression, IB minus is replaced by IB plus. Because of the input bias current, there exists some output voltage, even there was no input voltages. So to compensate that, we have to apply some procedure, some technique, some compensation. So RC is the uh, resistor which compensates that. It makes the output voltage equals to zero. And uh, what should be the value of this RC to make the offset compensation that to make the output of output voltage zero that it is equals to R1 into RF upon R1 plus RF that is uh, RC is equals to the parallel combination of R1 and RF.
is the circuit for non-inverting op amplifier as input voltage is connected to the plus terminal okay and how we make the compensation here